Okay, Digital Imaging, I'm going to go over how you can uh, create your cutout line for your document um, using the offset path here. So uh, I've got a student's design here, and uh, first thing I'm going to want to do is make some copies of some things. So I'm going to create my cutout line, and it's going to go around um, all these objects we, this person has. The star is going off the edge, so I'm going to make some copies of those things. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab... Uh, these stars and this circle, these things that are going off the edge, and I'm going to make a duplicate of those. So I'm going to go uh, do Control D, or I can go to Edit and Duplicate, but I'm just going to do it this way. And then with uh, Path Union, it only works if you do uh, two pieces at a time. So I'm going to go up to Path Union, should make this all one single piece. Same thing with this Path Union. Path Union. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing with the text because I want my cutout line to go around my text as well. So I'm going to make a duplicate of my text. So I'm going to press Control D, and then I'm going to just change the color here. That way you can kind of see what's happening. Um, first thing I need to do is I need to turn my text into an object. So I'm going to go up to um, Path, Object to Path. So now it's an object. It's no longer a text thing. I couldn't uh, text object. I couldn't like change the font or change the size of it. Um, and now it's as if I drew it out with the Bezier tool. I need to ungroup this. So I'm going to go up to object and ungroup. Now it's all single pieces. Now I can go up to path and union. And now it's one single piece. And now I want to connect it to my um, outline here. So I'm going to hold shift, select that, and then go to path union. Now it's all one single piece. I don't need this stroke here. So I'm going to hold shift and get rid of my stroke. Uh, and now I'm ready to make my cutout line. So I'm going to go to um, path and linked offset. Looks like nothing happened. I'm going to grab my nodes tool and you should see this diamond appear. Now if I click and drag and pull this out, you can see my cutout, cutout line start to appear. I'm going to change the color of this first shape here um, for my cutout line. Now you can see that this is coming out here like that. Um, depending on what type of font and other pieces you have, you might have parts that kind of um, come out and not quite do what you want it to do. Uh, and we'll fix that later on here. So now you need to decide like how far out you want your edge of your sticker to be. I'm going to go a little bit farther, you know, something kind of like that. And that's a much more interesting uh, line here. Okay. Now I turn, need to turn this into a object. So I'm going to go to path, object path. Okay, you'll see my nodes appear after I do that. I can now get rid of this shape. I don't need that anymore. And now I need to change my uh, cutout line here to uh, my stroke here. So I'm going to get rid of my stroke and then I'm going to uh, give this my cutout color. I don't know if I have, yeah, I don't have the color for that, but I can change that here. Um, to change that color, it's in my uh, stroke paint. I should be an RGB, it should be 236, 0, 140. And that's the color for um, my cutout line. Okay. Now there's going to be a few things. Uh, if There might be some a few things left over here. So if I pull this over, I'm going to hold control and keep this on the same line here. Um, I actually didn't do it with this one here, but... Um, like let's say I want to get rid of like these inside parts. I can select those with my nodes tool. Oops, I got to select it first. And then I'm going to select these with my nodes tool. And here you can actually see there's a little bit of like leftover stuff. So I'm going to select those and just delete those little pieces. Because uh, the cutter will actually pick up on those. And not do quite what I want to do here. Okay. So that looks pretty good. I don't see anything else here. So now I can just move this back over. I'm going to hold control, keep it on the same line here. You know, this looks good. I could always bump this with like my arrow keys, uh, but that looks pretty good. Okay. So now this will be my cutout line. It'll be the edge of my sticker and it'll cut right along this line here. All right.